Hi, it's Warren Dent with Zen Pro Audio. Welcome to Zen TV Weekly. It is the week of April the 11th. We've added a lot of new products here in the last week or so to the site. First of all, CarTech Audio. They're out of London, UK. And these guys have got what they claim to be the closest recreation to an original Poltec on the market. It's a mono Poltec 2BQ. It streets for $2,800. Very excited to get that in here in the next few days or into next week so that we can put it in the clip later and also head to head it with some other Poltec style EQs. Um, they also have an item called the Pre-Q5. This is a mic pre plus a two-band inductor-based EQ, which is very interesting in its approach that it sort of has, if you look at it, it's got this low boost and high boost. The low boost is uh, centered on 100 cycles. The high boost you can select between, I believe it's 7, 10, and 16K. So you get to select using a toggle on the side of the unit um, and dial in as much EQ as you want. So it's an interesting kind of thing. Uh, where you could make it very subtle and just use it as your own sort of uh, made and preset filter. I'm real interested in checking that out. It's a different kind of approach and I like different. JLab, this is a company that is making a 500 series LA3. It's called the JLA3. And there's something very interesting about that unit. Uh, first of all, they've got three optical cells that are available. There's the stock one, which most closely emulates the standard LA3. There's one that they call fast. There's one that they call aggressive. And you are actually able to, with your own fingers, pull off those cells and replace them. So you actually get three different flavors out of one compressor. It also has about 40 dB of makeup gain available on board. This means you actually could use it as a mic pre or as makeup gain from a passive summer, like the fulcrum so that you have makeup gain and also compression at the end of your mix. But um, I think that's really cool because if you think about it, it's going to street for about 849 and then the two cells that are available on top of the stock one that you get with the unit are 75 bucks a piece. So for $9.99, you've got one compressor with three different cells that you can swap out and pick. So I, I like that versatility and compared to the price of an LA3A, it's also just a phenomenal deal. That is going to be arriving either later this week or into next week. We'll be testing it for a while and putting it into the clip later too. Planet Waves. These guys make D-Sub, DB25 style cables. It's a very cool system and it's a system that I'm able to stock and ship instantly with things like these SSL bundles and other you know, D-Sub based items around here. It's a core cable. You've got 5, 10, 25, and 50 foot lengths to choose from. This is male to male DB25 wired at Tascam standard, which is essentially the industry standard. Then you've got the breakout cables that are female DB25 to anything you want. TT Bantam, you've got a quarter inch TRS, XLR male and female. There's a combo cable that has XLR female and male that is wired up for AES use, as well as just a blunt end. So if you need to solder your own connectors or a variety of them, you have that as well. The cool thing, I'm able to deliver them instantly and they cost about 40% less than most of the stuff that's out there on the market. We've had good luck with it so far and it's really an exciting thing for me because D-sub cables are always just such a you know, weird kind of choice for people to make. Not anymore. We're able to hook you up with the Planet Wave stuff and put it in the box and ship it out instantly. Tone Lux this week announced the OTB16. This is a 16x2 summing mixer that is in a single rack space. And what he's used are these dual concentric pots that are giving you individual gain on each channel. Or you can link two channels next to each other. As well as having full pan control. And I just think that's really smart and it's where a lot of summing mixers sort of miss the mark. So you've got a lot of variety there. You've got the Tone Lux sound. No, it hasn't shipped yet and I haven't heard it. They're telling me about three weeks or so on the OTB16. It's going to street for $17.99. I'm not a huge um, wow, got to have a summing mixer kind of guy, but I am a big Tone Lux fan and I'm very interested in checking that unit out because it seems to have hit the nail on the head for simplicity, but the features that you do desire, inserts and things like that as well. In Clipolator news, we just added some interface pre's. I thought it would be interesting to add, we have the Army UFX, uh, which is essentially claiming the same mic circuit as the mics to see unit that they have. We've added the Echo Audio Fire, Steinberg CI Series, and the Mackie Onyx. So very cool to kind of check it out and say, well, what if I just stuck with my interface? You know, what does it compare to some of these other pre's? 
it's pretty revealing. In a lot of ways, it kind of sounds the way that you expect it to, to sound. Also, this week coming in the clip later, the Rupert Neve Designs 517. It is here. This, of course, is a DI mic pre as well as a compressor. So we will possibly have that done by Tuesday, maybe Wednesday of this week, uploaded with full audio uh, and video on the Rupert Neve 517. It's all the hot stuff I can think of that's going on right now at Zen Pro. As always, you can click on contact us on there and I'll personally respond and get you taken care of. And keep in mind, we're working very hard around here to bring you gear now and Zen. Thanks.